Hi folks, welcome back to the kitchen. Right, I posted um, a little picture of a ham, that one, which is six years old this December. And um, next week I'm gonna open this up, I'll post another video. This ham is six years old. I'm going to show you how I'm going to redo the surface of it with some more sunya and a little bit of greaseproof paper. It's a quick video, let's get into it. Right, this is the mangalitsa ham that I was talking to you about. You can see that it's six years old on the 17th of December. But before I open this, what I want to do is demonstrate how over time these things do deteriorate and you need to revisit them, give them a bit of a clean and a polish and perhaps replace some of the sunya and also we're gonna replace this paper as well. So let me crack on and show you how I'm going to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is give it a bit of a general clean down. Bowl of water and a cloth. I'm just going to wipe the ham down. These hang ambient, so they tend to get a little bit dusty sometimes. I'll just clean it both sides. You can see that some of the color is coming off there. And I'll show you what we do at the end. We give this a nice oil. I've got some lovely rapeseed oil here, which we'll just rub down. But before we do that, we'll let it just dry off. Okay, so I just want to present this really nicely when we come to slice it. This is something that perhaps you wanna do if you're curing your own ham and you've got people coming over and you wanna impress them with a nice, beautiful looking ham. So, here we are. You do get some of this sunya coming off here, so it's always nice to keep it in good nick. Right, we'll keep our cloth handy, we might need that. So I'll just go through some of the equipment I've got here. I've got some scissors, some greaseproof paper, I've got some lard, which is basically pork fat. That's been in the fridge, so it's a little bit firm. I have a couple of bowls here, one's for uh, vinegar ones for oil. We'll give this a rub down with some vinegar later once we've uh, completed our little bit of uh, work. Here's my rapeseed oil which I'm going to use. You can use olive oil if you so desire. I've got some apple cider vinegar. This is my own apple cider vinegar that I made a few years ago. And we'll give it away as well and update the ticket. Right, first things first, we'll take off this paper. And uh, it's probably easier sometimes to do this with a spoon believe it or not the back of a spoon you can see sometimes this paper just gets so well stuck down there we go And the reason I use greaseproof paper, it doesn't assist the drying or anything like that. It just makes it, it just makes handling these easier so you don't get fat all over your hands. Um, if you're not moving them about anywhere or you're not interfering with them, then there's no need. <laughs> I've been interfering with my hands. That sounds wrong. Okay, let's scrape off a little bit of this. I don't want to take too much of this off because this has actually got some flavour in it. We're not going to eat this, obviously. This is really just as a protection mechanism for the harm. 
so some of it's gone a little bit flaky, but that's normal. Just take off any loose bits. And we'll reapply. Now that's not looking too bad. So next week I'm going to do a video opening this up and uh, I'll post that online via Facebook so that uh, any of you that have expressed an interest in having a look and see for yourself then that's for you really. Okay, get that nice smooth. Try and keep as much of that off the skin as we can. Here we go, that's looking pretty neat. Happy with that. Happy with that. Great, we'll just have a little bit of a clean down here. I'm very lucky in my kitchen I've got a bin Right there. <laughs> that makes life so much easier. Okay, let's apply some lard. So we'll just get a knife out. And you can see this is going to go on quite easily now. This could do with being a little cooler, but we're going to stick this in the uh, garage, which is about four degrees Celsius at the minute. We're going to hang it there for a short while just to let it firm up and then uh, That'll be all good. Little goes a long way here, as you can see. Actually, do you know what? I have got a cold lard in the fridge, so let me just go and get that.
Right, we're going to give it a little drink of vinegar. Now, <clears throat> the vinegar is an acid. Bacteria don't like growing too readily on vinegar. So it gives the outside skin a very good protection, especially if you're hanging it in somewhere like a garage or a shed or a barn. Certainly in the winter, at this time of year, things don't really, you don't really get a great deal of growth on there, but it stops a little bit of mold and uh, insect penetration if you have that issue. So nourishes the uh, skin a little bit, as does the oil, which we're going to put on in a minute. And this is something that I've done to this ham probably two or three times now in its life. Certainly with the paper, I've replaced that two times, I think. but. Uh, I've actually given it a rub down uh, like this several more times uh, over the uh, six years. Probably about twice a year, I would say. These come out, give them a good old rub down, make them look lovely again. Last little step. And just give it a little rub down with some oil. And this is pretty bog standard vegetable oil. Nothing fancy about it. You can use virgin olive oil if you wish to. And this is really just to to dress it and make it look lovely. Give it a nice shine. We'll layer, we'll layer this on let it soak in just for a bit and then we'll give it a buff with a dry cloth. So we used to run, when we had the cookery school before COVID, we used to run meat curing and charcuterie classes and every one of those we did at the end of the day, we cured a ham, just like this. Um, rarely did they go beyond a year, uh, because we used to eat them. <laughs> what, what did you expect? <laughs> right, so that's been on for a couple of minutes now. And all we do is we just give them a nice buff up. taking a little bit of the oil off and that's fine. There you go. One ham overhauled and ready to go back into the dryer or wherever you hang it. And uh, we'll weigh it now. So this will give us an indication of how far it's gone. So this is in grams, folks. So 
So three, three, nine, eight. Okay. So the last time this was weighed was in April, 20th of April, 2017. It was 4.170. So it's lost another 720 grams by the look of that. There or thereabouts, you do the math. Okay, I'll update this ticket, 3396, and uh, we'll put that back in the dryer. Next week, I'm gonna open this up and take some slices from it, and show you that whole process from start to finish. Well, there you have it. That's the ham ready for slicing next week. Catch up with us on the next video where we'll be taking some slices from this ham. I'll show you that whole process from start to finish, but also I will show you how I can package this as well. So we've got some gold silver boards and back bags and I'll show you how we process it. See you next week guys, take care.